a drunk bitch. Oh. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another get ready with me. I'm going out tonight for Halloween and I just thought I'd bring you guys along with me. You know, let's have some fun. Before you guys say anything, I know I, I'm ill. You can hear it in my voice. I have been recovering. I've been ill all week. It has been the worst cold of my life. It has not been it. No. But I'm feeling a lot more brighter today, a lot more energy, and I probably should just be resting tonight and not go out. But you know me, I love my nights out and I'm never, ever, ever gonna say no to one. And it's Halloween. It's basically a national holiday, so I have to go out and celebrate. It's just the way of the world, okay? So I've got a matcha and oat matcha from Prat because I have just come in from uni. And I went down Oxford Street, which is the bane of my existence. Is that even the phrase? Oxford Street is not a vibe. I literally hate walking down Oxford Street. I hate it with a passion. It's so hard to navigate because there is so many people and they all walk slowly. I'm sorry, slow walkers, but please just walk quicker. Some of us have places to be, you know. And some guy thought it was acceptable to just stop me in my tracks. I'm a busy gal. I was carrying so much stuff and he was just, he just stopped me and he was like, hi, like, hello. Just leave me alone. I'm busy. I have places to be. Um, anyway. Anyway, I've got to get ready. Um, it's now quarter to five and I'm meant to be leaving at six. Fuck. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing for this makeup look. I think inspo is needed. Oh, I don't have my black lipstick. Oh, that has actually ruined my night. Oh, I am gutted. Sorry about that. Um, my boyfriend was on a call, so I couldn't talk. But I am back now, and I am better than ever. I have done my foundation, and I mixed it with highlighter. This gel highlight. I love mixing highlighter with my foundation, because I love the glow it gives. I just best thing ever honestly I'm sorry in my eye and I've done my eyebrows um, it's a good thing that they weren't really done on camera because you kind of fuck them up a little bit but they're looking better now but honestly I just give up with my eyebrows sometimes because it's so hard to get them even they're still not even Um, I'm sorry that you can hear buzzing in the background. That is my microwave oven. I am cooking a pizza because your girl's got to eat. Got a bottle of wine, a whole bottle of wine on an empty stomach. Dangerous game. Dangerous game. So at the moment, I'm going in with a eyeshadow primer. It's the Urban Decay Primer Potion Original. It is the best eyeshadow primer I have ever used. Don't fight me on it. I'm not really sure what I look I'm thinking of doing today. Lately I've kind of been liking not going too heavy with my makeup because no one really cares at the end of the day and we're literally in a dark club. So <laughs> who's gonna see it, you know? But I'm thinking I might do a little bit of a smoky eye moment um, with some like red tones. I don't think I'm gonna wear lashes. I kind of stopped wearing lashes on my night out because I, one time I forgot to bring my lash glue and they did come off my lashes and yeah, it was quite annoying. Lately I've been using brown mascara like every day instead of black mascara because somebody said on TikTok that it makes, if you've got green eyes, it makes your eyes pop out more and I think I agree with her. I think it does 
kind of make my eyes pop a bit more. And then obviously doing that means I wear black mascara on a night out, so I still feel like my makeup is a bit more elevated than my usual every day. That's why I used to wear lashes, because I was using black mascara every single day. The lashes just added a bit of oomph to my eyeshadow and made it more of like a nighttime look. So, yeah, I just, it's so much nicer not wearing lashes on night out, honestly. It's one less thing that like, I don't have to stress about. What are you guys dressing up for Halloween this year? If you are dressing up, let me know in the comments if you guys do anything for Halloween. Because I don't know, I just, I've always loved Halloween and the years I haven't done anything, it's just been a bit naff. So I always try and do something and go out or um, watch some scary films, you know. So now I'm dressing up as a devil because I've got red hair and I really wanted to incorporate that into my costume. One of my closest, bestest friends, Luke, I asked them if we could do a like duo costume what do you call it is it a duo costume like a, I don't know, like a best friend costume and i was like i could be a devil and you could be an angel but luke has only gone and betrayed me and dressed up as a devil as well but you know what it's fine we're gonna slay we're gonna slay we're gonna be the best dressed people in the club okay so i'm okay with it i'm a little bit heartbroken but i'm over it I mean, who would want to be an angel anyway? Like, it feels a bit boring. I have too many eyeshadow palettes. I actually have, I had to ban myself from buying eyeshadow palettes because it got to the point where like, every palette I had pretty much had the same shades in. It's really bad, so like, I, I've genuinely got, I've got out the eyeshadow palettes I use the most and I still have like five under my bed more than five this is a problem I actually promise you I have not bought myself an eyeshadow palette in like two years and I still haven't gone through all of my palettes but I am genuinely on a band like I am not allowed to buy any more until I'm down to my last eyeshadow palette this is going to take me like ten years What do you guys normally put in your like going out bag? Like what do you take with you on a night out? Let's talk about that. I always, always, always have a portable charger on me just because, um, well in the past my phone battery was really, really bad. Um, so it just dies so quickly. I just always have it just in case because my friends' batteries on their phones literally go so quickly and I like to make sure that everybody gets home safely and they've got charge in their phone um so I always bring that up, that with me on a night out at the moment because of covid obviously I bring out some face masks because they are still mandatory on the tube Right, well, so I bring my lipstick and um, because I do shave half my eyebrows off I can't have my eyebrows coming off when it's like really hot and sweaty in a club because I look stupid so I've bought some, it's kind of like eyeliner, but brown, but for eyebrows. I bought that with me in case that happens tonight. I always bring mints with me or chewing gum, just in case somebody has to do a tactical chanda. Um, and I think that's it. Obviously, like my phone. I think that's all I bring with me. Like, like my Oyster card and my bank cards. I always find it really interesting what people bring with them, like in on a night out, or just like what they pack in their bags. Because everyone's so different, I love it. Now I'm just gonna add that along my top lash line, just so that when I put mascara on, my lashes look a bit more volumized. I am not taking cold and flu tablets. Oh my God, story time. Last time when I tried to go out with Luke, we went to a Simmons launch party and it was a free bar and I had a cold then as well, and I was taking cold and flu tablets. And I had four cans of the pre-mixed vodka and lemonades from Tesco's. And then I probably had about three or four double vodka cranberry, cranberries in Simmons. And I threw up everywhere. Turns out 
You can't mix cold and flu tablets with alcohol. Did I know that? No, I didn't. I'm like throwing up and I'm feeling super dizzy. It was like somebody had spiked me. And if I didn't figure out that it was the cold and flu tablets, I would have thought I'd been spiked. I guess I was spiked. I guess I spiked myself by accident because I genuinely didn't know that you're not allowed to mix the two. Lesson learned. I have not touched any cold and flu tablets the past 48 hours because I am not feeling like that again. I actually want a good night out, please. I want to make it out. I literally ended the night at like, what, 10 o'clock? I had to call up Reese for him to come and pick me up at King's Cross. Luke was lovely. Luke, Luke took me to King's Cross because I genuinely didn't feel like I could get myself there because I was really vulnerable. I'd never, I, like, I've never been in a way like that before. Because normally I can handle my alcohol quite well. Obviously I've thrown up before in the past, everyone does, but I don't know, I just genuinely felt so vulnerable and out of it. So I'm re really, really grateful that I got back safely. But yes, that is a lesson guys, do not mix cold and flu tablets with alcohol. And if you're going to be drinking alcohol and having medicine, check the medicine. Read the leaflet of what you're taking. Make sure it doesn't say, do not mix with alcohol. It's not worth it. Outfit transition. Guys, we're at Pre's. I'm a Yeah, we are. Luke! So, we're about to go to heaven. Stop it. So sorry. I'm gonna buy some. We've got to go to heaven in like five minutes, and I'm halfway through my bottle of wine. This is dangerous behavior. Wait, no, why'd I pour it into my glass? Because I am going to bring it with me. Today, I became a makeup artist for everybody. I've done, how many people's glitter have I done tonight? Four, four five. five. Four or five, I did glitter for a good, my, like my first hour here, I was doing glitter on everybody. Here is the supplies. They don't belong to me. Nice box, though. It is a really, she has a dedicated glitter box. I wish I was this organized. A dedicated glitter box. It's not gonna close because I've not put. You haven't sorted it. Because I'm because I'm drunk. We're drunk, bitch. Oh, Look at the drink. Oh. Anyway, that's the pre's table. So, um, we have had somebody making cocktails for pre's for herself, which I totally vibe with, and I'm not gonna put her down for that because main character vibes. I wish I could romant romanticize my life to that point. Instead, I'm drinking wine, and you're drinking vodka, vodka, Absolute. vodka and lemonade. Anyway. We need to go. We're going to... Oh, this is so it. rude. We're going to transition when we're at the club, okay? From the hub to the club. See you there. Love you. Bye. Bye. It didn't really go. We're all okay. squidged in a lift. Squidged in a lift like sardines. You left me with nothing but agony. I stuck by side so happily. We needed each other like a... I just like to eat and I passed out again. Sure, I'm so sorry. It's okay, don't worry. It was my fault. We'll see how the night proceeds. Yeah. We started off Freddy and Daphne. So good that it felt like a child to me. The girl in my team like a fantasy. But we've been caught out in reality. We reached the pinnacle of apathy. It must have been a victim of gravity. Because it declined so rapidly. I thought she was just like a masterpiece. Because you all I see in my gallery. I should have had a better strategy. Because I was falling for you naturally. But you've been plotting on me actually. Me with nothing but agony. I stuck by your side so happily. We treated each other like drugs. Now I do not know what is happening. They tried to warn me it was bad for me, but I just brushed it off so casually. I put all my trust in the love, and I became another casualty. Coincidentally, you got in my back and then you attacked. I never thought you was my enemy. It wasn't always like that. I remember the days when your voice was a symphony. Music to my ears. I would wipe your face when you would cry tears and then try to protect you from your fears. I was doing all of that for four years. Talking light years, not sure years. Shawty stressed me out, I need more beers. Tried to carry through like a warrior, but that wasn't enough. We went through the rough and the tough together, but tough was my luck. It got to the point I was just trying to keep my head up. Stuck in the rut, cause the woman that I love would rather be cuffed to a bottle of rum. Uh, and I was a sucker like dumb, dumb. I could never tell her, uh, uh. If she wanted money, she got some. I wanted some, I got none. Always be playing the victim. So it was time that I run. I 
a tragedy Was almost a family, but you aborted it Infant mortality On top of that, you barely opened your mouth Unless it was profanity Always saying I was full of shit But all you wanna do is crap on me Always trying to keep the peace But I swear it's like you like calamity Always telling me you love me But I'm an innocent bystander to all your apathy Like a knife through my heart, cut it out of me Got an attitude, but her head at me Barely rattle me when they be at me Doing all of that for four years Talking light years, not short years Shawty stressed me out, I need more beers Tried to carry through like a warrior But that wasn't enough We went through the rough and the tough Together, but tough was my luck It got to the point I was just Trying to keep my head up Stuck in the rut Cause the woman that I love Would rather be cuffed to a bottle of rum uh-uh. And I was a sucker like dumb dumb I could never tell her uh-uh. End of my work like a dynamite stick And I really think I'm about to blow on this bitch I was daddy and poppy and baby and shit Now I never want to see her face in my crib again Back for the last time, cause I won't stop. You just run away, I ain't running back. Clear and 